Hello, welcome back. This is Jay Byron from Custom Panda Gunstocks. Tony Madeline's running the uh, video camera today. How you doing today, Tony? I'm doing good. <laughs> That's good. Uh, how did you watch that Super Bowl yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay, that's a pretty yeah. good outcome. If, yeah, you're, uh, if you're New England fan. New England. That's right. But I didn't like neither one of them, so. Yeah, well, me neither. I mean, you know, it's just the uh, way it is. But it's good commercials, though. What yeah. was your favorite commercial? Uh, I didn't watch them. I think the Budweiser commercial was the was the, the low, puppy uh, that was yeah. lost. I think that was a that was a kind of a tearjerker, you know. So I had to hold back in front of everybody, you know. So anyway, you know, because I got a puppy, yeah. you know. We yeah. have a puppy here too. Yeah, he's out running around somewhere. We don't yeah, know he's out there eating trash or something. That's right. So anyway, we'll hopefully we'll find him soon. Yeah. But uh, this is part two of the Vapor. Uh, not the vapor, excuse me. We did that the other day. This is part two of Ivor Johnson. We got so many projects, we can't keep them straight. That's right. That's right. And and this is a rough one. I guess you had probably seen it part one, but uh, this uh, this one right here is uh, kind of like it's a restoration job. So uh, and uh, restoring this one for uh, for a uh, an old fella, and he's uh, wanting to hang this over his mantle. So just knowing kind of like an overview of what we're going to be doing to the stock today. And so uh, hopefully I'll have this thing ready for some. Uh, primer so anyway i just want to show you tony's going to kind of get in on this and this stock like i said it's old we're estimating i think it's what we said about 113 years old yes about that yep so anyway uh and as you can see it's got a lot of wear on it and uh but you know it's, it's solid though because tony's shoulder tony's shoulder felt it yeah you know, it's so, still hurt so anyway uh but he said it's got good and solid but it does have some cracks in it Right here, as I spread it apart, you can see there's a crack there. And uh, we're gonna fix that. And there's also a crack there. So what we did here, and Tony's gonna try to show you the rest of the stock. And uh, what we might do. Here's what we, here's what we got in mind. And this is, this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna actually gonna fill these cracks I got some very ultra strong, what they call Cubon. And it's not really so much of wood glue, but this glue will work for anything. And uh, it is very strong and I've tested it before and it works well. You get it mostly a lot, like at a lot of auto part places, especially places that carry automotive paint products. So it's a very good product. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna spread this open. We're gonna put as much Cubon down here as we can and let it close back up on both sides and both cracks. And we're gonna do the same thing right here. We got like a little bit of a crack coming right there. We're gonna do that and we're gonna shape up this and then we're gonna remake these edges. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that in a second. And uh, so once we do that, we got some screws. We got more than just two, but uh, we're gonna go, probably go in one right here, maybe one right here, and then probably another right there. And then same thing on this side, we're gonna go from this angle and we'll go here and here and here. So we're gonna do a total of six screws. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put enough glue around these threads of the screw while it's wet and actually drive them in there so when that gets hard, it should be good and tight and hard. So uh, when we get everything done on the stock and get everything back together, when he shoots it, it should be good, you know, to where it's not gonna, you know, the crack won't reappear because it'll be good and uh, secured and glued up. And then after we do all that, the screws are actually going to be embeveled in the wood on both sides so they won't be seen and they're going to be you know inside the wood not like fixing a broken leg like that ain't that right tony you've seen that before or yeah go in there and put a leg back together i was gonna say i got a pin on my arm right there yeah. when i broke See, it i could have done that for you and saved you a lot of money on doctor fees because i already know how to do that stuff well would you put me to sleep like they did well i would have gave you some liquor you know, that probably would have done yeah. the trick. A little seven, eight year old liquor does. That yeah, might would have worked. Moonshine or something yeah. like that. So, anyway, that sounds like your mama calling. Yeah. But anyway. She's going she to have to wait. <laughs> so, anyway, after we get all this done and fix all these cracks and get all that stuff taken care of, we're going to use this stuff, which is, a, which is a fiberglass filler. This is called Diamond Glass, and this mix is a two part. And uh, so, we'll be mixing this and pretty much pretty much gonna have to coat this entire stock. And uh, this stuff gets hard as a rock. Uh, so um, it's even hard to sand. So, but once we put this on there, that's gonna take care of all the other cracks and and uh, all the imperfections. And it's gonna really make this stock good and strong. So good and strong for the future. 
And once we do that, then we'll do some other little light filler work, and then we'll go back, and then we'll be about ready for primer. And that's actually how we're going to do these edges. Um, we got a pipe that fits in here. That's not, you know, of course, it's not the shooting pipe, but it's a it's a plastic pipe that this stuff right here won't stick to long enough to where I can sit there and we can remake these edges and shape everything out yeah. as you see on that so these edges will be nice and clean and everything will be level all the way across and then that will look brand new and the places like this will be fixed and we're going to just want to reshape that so anyway if we're going to get started on this today so hopefully by the end of the day we're hoping that this stock is going to look completely different yep but uh and hopefully we'll have it in primer and we'll be closer to our dipping process so uh that right there will sum it up for part two and uh so stay tuned in and subscribe to our channel and, and uh just watch this project because we got a lot more going on on tony's getting ready to start on the receiver and barrel here soon and uh on getting it polished up and getting it ready for the dirt blue so uh anyway this uh, gun's gonna be like new yep. so uh stay tuned in it's gonna have a beautiful wooden pattern on it and uh we're gonna make this thing look new again but thanks for watching and watch part three. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks. See ya.